Welcome back to Let's Talk Dreams, episode 9. Today's episode is just the interview. That's right, folks. No assets, no dreams. We're focusing on the guest today, and you're going to have to tell me how you like it. So, please welcome to the show, Atheist du- Actually, no, that's not how we announce guests around here. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, then apart, then together again for Atheist W and... Anime Boy 0021! Anime Boy and Atheist, welcome to the show. Hello, Revs. Yeah, big fan of the show. Yeah, thanks for having us on. <laughs> it's my pleasure. So, you two are sort of a power couple when it comes to dreams. Often teaming up to work in content featuring cyberpunk neon aesthetics that usually involves cars. What's the story behind both of you working together? Well, it all started with trees. You know, I needed some, and we had boatloads already made, and we just sort of got talking on PSN off the back of that. So yeah, it was the beginning of lockdown, and we had lots of free time to mess around, so talking with one another, even though we were in different time zones, was difficult. And it helped spark an amazing partnership and friendship between uh, the two of us, bringing ideas and beautiful art to life. Oh, that's so nice! It's good to hear that even in such a difficult time in people's lives, like lockdown, uh, it kind of brought people closer together because we kind of had to. And as you said, you even got a, a fantastic dreams partner from it, so that's great. Okay, so moving on, we've spoke a little bit backstage about this awesome new project you're both working on. Can our audience hear a bit more about it? So it's called Gridlocked. Um, it's a back to basics arcade score attack driving game and it's designed to be easy to pick up but hard to master. We're currently working with Arapero, who's become you know, some of the regular collaborator of ours on projects such as BB the Bee and Hello Taxi, to come up with some complex logic to emit scenery and gameplay elements on the fly to provide a truly random experience each time you play. We've both been having a lot of fun coming up with the asset design for the demo level, and it's going to be a really fun project for us to work on once we've got the logic in place. But, like I said, this is probably the most complex logic we've attempted so far. So for right now, we're just focused on getting the basics in place before going crazy with the detail. Ooh, it does sound fun. And coming from you, the quality's gonna be high, <laughs> of course. Uh, does it have a release date? Well, at the moment, we're just really focused on nailing the logical and gameplay elements as a priority. Yeah, that's important to both of us. We strive to create a fulfilling experience, both graphically and gameplay-wise. And it takes time to be able to do that. So we don't rush into things, we take our time, and we make sure everything is good to go before releasing. Well, you've certainly nailed the customer experience. <laughs> So, with 2023 around the corner, what can Dreams expect from both of you? Yeah, we're planning to add far more to our ever-expanding Utopia, um, which is a series of interior and exterior scenes taking place in an imagined futuristic cityscape environment. Uh, I've got a whole lore in mind for the setting as well, so I'd love to be able to feed parts of that into the environment uh, over time as we create more settings for players to explore. Also, we like to make more MSR, but it's become such a time-consuming project that we both decided it's best suited as an episodic content rather than as one big game experience, which was the original grand plan for the series. I want to make it clear, we haven't given up on the series though. We're currently working on a re-revamp of both Miami and Detroit-based tracks, using all the core gameplay logic seen in our latest tracks like Sunshine State including the photo mode, which I want to see more of y'all people use. <laughs> you heard him, everyone. Y'all get using it. <laughs> Anime boy, atheist, thank you so much for coming on the show. It was very exciting to learn about all your new plans, and I can't wait to see them. And I really can't wait to see what you pull out the hat in 2023. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us. Sayonara. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. For the YouTube people, we're about to show some of Atheist and Anime Boy's work, so you can stay around if you want to see that. But for everyone else, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for the grand finale. Bye!